Okay, uh, one last 3D equilibrium problems. This is one of those where it's one of those, hey, what's the largest weight such that none of the cables exceed 300 pounds? All right. So, do you see that kind of point A is the point that's in equilibrium? If I was to draw a free body diagram, I would draw, draw a free body diagram of A, but I don't require you to draw free body diagrams if they are in 3D because uh, it's hard to uh, draw that. Uh, and so, so you've got the weight acting straight down. I've got the tension in that one, the tension that remember that ropes can only have tension, right? I know that it is pulling right here. All right. But, uh, these struts or poles or cables right now, uh, we are assuming that the force is along this. Uh, and so yes, it could be down that way in tension. But I think you can visualize, and I think you can see that it is in compression up that way. Uh, it's okay if I had guessed down in tension. Uh, my answer would have come out negative, and answers that come out negative, if uh, magnitude is negative, just means you drew it the wrong direction, the opposite direction. So here we go. What do we do for 3D problems? We break everything into their components, and then sum the forces. All right, break everything into their components and then sum the forces. So let's start with the uh, weight is just, I don't know it, but I know it's in the negative K direction. Um, how about this force right here? Uh, can, you, can you see that it just is kind of a six by 2.5? It doesn't go anywhere in the X. Uh, you, could, you could still do your dimensions and do um, you know f equals fu where u is r over r, uh, but this is really just a two d a two d force uh, that's a six by two point five by that would make that seven point five. So force a d d do you see that it is um, force a d uh, it is let's see t -t -t nothing in the x but 6 over 7.5 in the J and 2.5 F A D 2.5 over 7.5 in the K. That that was a 2D problem. You, you know, you could don't over complicate it. Uh, but you could still do it the exact same way you do 3D problems. Just put a zero in the, you know, X direction. Um, so anyway, th that, that is written in its component form. Now I think we're ready to tackle tension in AC, tension in AB, TAC, TAB. So those are given dimensions. Dimensions F equals FU. So AC uh, would be, let's see, R over R. How far does it go in the X direction? It was it was lying on that uh, YZ plane. It comes forward to us, two in the I. Uh, how about in the Y? It goes backwards. I drew over all these dimensions. Um, but in the Y, in the Y direction, I think it goes back six in the J. And then in the, the K direction, it, it was at a height of 2.5. It ends at a height of 5.5, so up 3 in the K. 2 squared, 6 squared, 3 squared, square root. All right, so TAC would be uh, this magnitude times, okay, so this is a 7. 2 squared, 6 squared, 3 squared is 7. Uh, so 2 sevenths in the I minus 6 sevenths. In the J plus three sevenths in the K. All right, so I'm gonna, that's as far as I'm going to go right now. Let me look at the tension in A B. Magnitude times R over R. So for that one, from A to B, how far does it go in the X? It goes backwards two in the X. How far does it go in the J? It goes back six in the J. How far does it go in the K? It only goes from 2.5 to 4, so it, it still goes does go up 1.5 in the K. Square root 2 squared, 6 squared, 1.5 squared. Take the square root, 
this is 6.5 on the bottom here. Uh, you know, I, I would probably just write it to a few decimal places, um, but the one that I'm following here uh, gives us fractions, not bad, of 4 thirteenths in the I, negative 4 thirteenths, negative 12 thirteenths in the J, plus 3 thirteenths in the K. Okay, so I think as, as much as I could, as best as I can, I wrote, I broke everything into their components. Now I'm ready to sum the forces. Right, now I'm ready to sum the forces in the x equals 0, sum the forces in the y equals 0, sum the forces in the z equals 0. So in the x, got that one, negative 4 thirteenths T A B. A, B. Uh, then the next one, 2 sevenths, T, A, C. Uh, that's it, right? That's it. Uh, this one doesn't have an X. This one doesn't have an X either. So set that equals 0. And right equals 0. Um, then the next, some of the forces in the Y, negative 12, 13, T, A, B. 3, sorry, negative... 6 sevenths TAC, 6 over 7.5 FAD, we'll call it, equals 0. And then the last one, some of the forces in the Z, 3 thirteenths TAB plus 3 sevenths TAC plus 2.5 over 7.5 FAD and minus W equals 0. All right, so I have it. I, right now I have three equations and I have four unknowns. But this is one of those problems where it says, hey, what's the maximum weight such that none of these cables exceed their this maximum? Uh, and so I just need to guess one of them. Which of these cables cannot exceed 300 pounds? So either TAB equals 300 or TAC equals 300. And both of them do not, right? Both of them do not equal 300. All right, so I'm going to guess TAC equals 300 pounds, right? And talking about educated guesses, talking about educated guesses, this equation might tell us which one is larger, TAB or TAC, right? 2 sevenths TAC equals 4 thirteenths. T A B, um, and so I don't really have this math here, uh, but I might multiply that through, and so that would tell me that T A C is. Let's see what uh, what, what, what would this uh, turn out to be? Twenty eight over twenty six T A B. Um, just kind of showing you that TAC is more... Uh, anyway, just guess. If you guess wrong, it's not much more work, right? We, we showed that it was not much more work uh, to, if you guess the wrong answer. So I'm going to ask TAC is 300, and I kind of got that from here. Oops. Kind of got that from here that uh, TAC is whatever TAB is times one point something, something, something. All right. So I guess TAC is 300, so I would plug in... 300 right there. I'd plug in 300 right here. I'd plug in 300 right here. I think I got lucky right here. When you plug in 300 right here, then you get, you can solve right away for TAB, and I would get 278.5 pounds. Yay. So that told, that helped me see that, yeah, I guess the right one, TAC is the one that reaches its max and reaches its limiting factor first. And so then I would, you know, start plugging everything else in to try to solve for F. Um, F A D uh, from this equation, I would get 557, uh, and then solve for W, I would get 407 pounds, and that is the right answer because I guessed right. How did I know I guessed right? Because when I solved for the other ones, they had not reached the maximum um, force that they could reach yet. All right, 
So it's another one of those problems. It's the maximum, but what do we do? Break them into their components, sum the forces in each direction equals zero, and then solve for unknowns. And with this one, you can just guess which one, not both of them, which, which one cable reaches its limiting factor, plug it in, solve for everything else, see if, make sure the other ones were not are not too high, and then that is your answer. All right?